Hello and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over uh, some basics on um, sort of taking a logo and and using it um, for your own to make a to make a 3D part out of it, and then something that you can actually 3D print. Um, I've had students do all, all sorts of things. Uh, most recently, I had a student do the Venom um, Venom logo, like the Venom face, and we were able to 3D print that in in three different layers. Um, the fur, the base layer was white for his uh, just like a face, and then the middle layer was black. Um, so. So it was actually kind of like this logo, um, and then he also included the tongue. So, um, so what we did is uh, we printed his face in black, and then the eyes and the teeth in in white, and then the tongue was red. So we had three layers. the The base was white, and then the second the second layer was the black, and then. Um, we cut into the black a little bit to make the red the red tongue fit in, um, and it came out really cool. So um, let me know uh, when you're brainstorming uh, different logos. Um, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a relatively basic one. Um, the Starbucks logo would actually be pretty cool to do, um, but I'm gonna do a basic one. Um, the panda would actually be really cool too. Let's see here. Um, let's let's try this monkey. Um, I don't even know what that's for, but uh, let's see. Not popping up. Um, all right, let's try. Uh, we could do something like that, or yeah, just a PlayStation logo. That'd be cool. Um, so I'm gonna show. I'll I'll show you. I'll take you through how to do something like this. So you're gonna right click. Um, Save image as, and a ping, PNG is fine. PlayStation logo. So look up your logo, right click on it, um, and then save image as. And then you're going to go into on shape. Make sure you have a document opened up. Click on the plus sign. And then you're going to click on import and PlayStation logo and um, now you're going to create a sketch create on the front plane N key to get normal to it and then um, where it says DXF you're going to click on the arrow click on insert image PlayStation logo and bring it in so um, So what I'm going to do is, uh, and we can make this like a circle or an oval or some sort of shape uh, that's going to encompass this. But the first thing I want to do is, um, is start sort of tracing over the shape here. So um, I'm going to use a, the spline tool. So the spline tool is right here. And for any of the curvy the curvy areas, I'm going to use that spline tool. And I suggest you kind of mess around before you start tracing just to kind of see what it does and then how to get out of it, just escape and control Z. So what it does is it creates inflection points. 
and um, it kind of rounds off things. It creates curves. So that's how you're going to use it. And you're going to use it in conjunction with straight lines. So if I use the spline tool, I'm going to come up here, start it right on that corner, and just kind of come around. start making my shapes take your time take take a while with this that's okay um, come around Now when I get to this point, I want a straight line, so I'm just going to hit Escape to stop the curve there, and then L for line. I'm just going to have a line come straight up to where it starts curving again, and then I'm going to just pick it up with the spline tool again. Sometimes you need to zoom in really far to get that that curve the way you want it to. And again, I'm just zooming in and out, making the curve what I want it to be. Where I want the bends, where I don't want the bends. Keep coming around. looking like it's straightening out again. L for line. And then bring it down to here. Alright. And then I got another straight line over here. Then I got another straight line coming up. And I got the P. So, um, I'm going to continue. Uh, so with the S, um, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, I might want these like kind of different layers to give it a little bit a uh, different look. So when I, I'm just going to extrude this P out. And um, I'm, I'm going to do, I'll do 0.125. So 125 is an eighth, eighth of an inch. So that looks good. Um, and if I want to keep that sketch up, I'm just going to, I'm just going to show it. So if I don't want it hidden, I want it up. I'm just going to show it like that. Um, and then I'm actually going to create the S. So sketch, um, front plane again. And for the planes to toggle on and off, I'm just hitting the P key. So I, don't, I just don't, they're kind of in the way, so I'm just getting rid of them. Um, and then I'm going to continue with the S. So... Start here to there, and then I'm going to use the spline tool again. And again, take your time.
to this endpoint here, and I'm going to hit escape. Then the straight line up. And then spline tool again to come around. The longer I have in between the spline points, the uh, the bigger the deflections are going to be when you move the curve. So if I'm in a tight area with a big curve, I'm going to want a lot of points. Hit escape. So that looks good. Then I'm going to extrude this one out. I'll do that one point one two five. So I got another piece to the puzzle here. I'm going to finish it up with the rest of the S, I'm going to continue my sketch on the front plane. Again, it's P to toggle on and off. Create a spline, go to this corner. Bring it around. Trying to do this quick before my battery runs out. Down there, escape line, 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 and then spline. See up there, but it's not terrible. You'll still understand the shape. Extrude that one out. 0.125. All right. So now I'm going to go back and hide that sketch. So now I got the the P, the S, the four. These are these are all separate parts right now. Um, so there's a couple ways I could um, handle this. So if I wanted um, to keep these as separate parts, which I think would be actually kind of cool, um, you can. And um, what you would do, uh, if you wanted them kind of locked into place, you would create another sketch um, on your front plane, and you'd create a square to kind of lock those in. Um, and let me just dimension this out to seven by five. We'll center it roughly and then extrude this out. in the other direction. So then you can actually have something to mount it to. Um, 
And again, we can print these in all different colors. And you would actually export these kind of separately. So you could export part one, save it, download it as an STL, export part two, save it, download it as an STL. Um, so before my battery runs out, um, that's that's kind of the idea um, behind the splines. And I'll, I'll be helping you uh, sort of render your final rendition of the part before we um, print it. So, uh, and you can print with a couple, two, three, four different colors, um, but we have to think about how they're going to print and um, how they're actually gonna fit into each other. So um, with, the, with the Venom character, uh, I just, we just uh, super glued it. So we super glued the three pieces together um, and we can do something like that with this. And if you wanted to make it a keychain, you know, you can always just throw a hole over here, extrude the hole out, and then you got a keychain. So there's a lot of different ways we can go with this. Um, have fun with it. Um, we can make ornaments. Um, I know it's not Christmas time yet, but uh, there's, there's a bunch of different ways. If you want to just something like a character or something on your desk, we can, we can do that. Um, so have fun with this and um, good luck.